hi guys and this is going to be problem number three from projection of points let's go ahead two points a and b are in the hp so this time around i'll be writing down the given data uh, simultaneously so there are basically two points a and b which are in the hp that means their distances from horizontal plane are going to be zero so h a for point a is going to be zero as well as h b for point b is going to be again zero right the point A is 30 mm in front of VP. So the distance of point A from the vertical plane that is going to be in front uh, is 30 millimeters and it's um, 30 and one thing is for sure that point A lies in the first quadrant. First quadrant. Alright. Now let us shift our mind, shift our focus towards point B. While B is behind the VP. How much behind the VP? Oh man, this is the question which strikes me immediately. B is just behind the VP. Alright, but how much behind? Well, no such information has been given to us as to what are the distance. Alright, we don't know how much this distance is. But one thing is for sure that point B is behind the VP that we can say that B lies in the second quadrant. Alright. And uh, let us read it further to extract some more data. The distance between their projectors is 75 millimeters. All right. The distance between their projectors is 75. Fine. S do we have some more data? Data. Where is it? And the line joining their top views makes an angle of 45 degrees with X, Y line. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Line joining their top views. Line joining top views makes 45 degrees. So this is the condition which we've got to use uh, and incorporate in our drawing. Line joining top views top views makes 45 degree angle with xy line xy is i told you earlier the popular line the reference line all right so let us start we can start by drawing this point a a point a is projection that is going to be um, uh, H is going to be above and D is going to be below X, Y. Alright, so zero of you of this particular point A is going to lie exactly on the reference line. That is A dash is going to be exactly on the reference line because the value of H is zero. Alright, and D is going to be 30. That means below X, Y, you need to go 30 mm. Okay, that's where you're going to find its top view. So let's do this quickly and uh, we need to start by drawing an X, Y line. Here it comes. Okay. So this is the very popular x, y line and uh, we have distance for h is 0 and d is 30. So it's going to be somewhere here h is 0. So it is going to be lying on the reference line and d is 30. So with h you need to put a dash and since the name of the point is h, uh, sorry a, it's got to be a dash and this over here is got to be simply a. So this is front view, this is top view. Alright. And this dimension over here is going to be or is. 30 millimeters well let's move forward this guy point B it lies in the second quadrant and the distance of projector of point B from that of projector A is 75 all right let us uh, do this first distance of projector of point B from that of A is 75 that means and uh, one more thing that you've got to know is that point B lies in the second quadrant and as far as second quadrant is concerned the logic of H and D says that both of them, that is H as well as D, uh, are going to lie above X, Y line. So one thing is for sure that both the front view as well as top view for point B, uh, they're going to be above this X, Y line. Alright. Now, one more data that we're going to use is, um, these two data have been used and uh, this logic has been used. Let me exhaust them. Color them. Well, we are yet to use uh, this data that is HB is equal to zero. We know very well that H is going to lie somewhere here. Okay. And HB is zero. All right. That means it is exactly here. And with H, you need to put a dash. So this particular point over here is nothing but B dash. For well, fortunately or unfortunately, the value of H is zero. So the front view is going to lie exactly on the reference line. Okay. Now we have used almost all the data uh, that were made available to us by the question and this also has been used. Um, the only thing left with us and on using which we the problem will be immediately solved or drawn 
is this line joining top views makes 45 degree angle with xy line so let us use this let us join the top views okay but where the hell is the top view of point b it's got to be somewhere here but where where is it well we don't need it man we don't need it then how are we going to locate it it's it's, it's pretty simple what we're going to do is um we're going to start drawing a line all right uh, at an angle of 45 degree now since this particular point a is top view and b is somewhere here and we know very well that joining a with b creates an angle of 45 degree with this xy line so what we're going to do is um we're going to join start we're going to keep a pro protractor over here and at an angle of 45 degree we'll start by making a line and we're going to produce it until it reaches or intersects this vertical line somewhere here and this is exactly what your point b stop you is all right so let us do this quickly so that's exactly the position of point b all right now this let us name it b all right and uh, well that's it folks point b both front view and top view are above xy line all right and something more is left this also has been used and uh, find the distance of point b from vp okay S distance of point b from vp that is distance t so this distance works out to be as 45 millimeters all right let us write this here it is so the distance of point b behind vertical plane extracted from the drawing we've just made is equal to 45 millimeters well uh is there anything left as far as dimensioning is concerned i guess there is a little bit scope of dimensioning this is 75 all right well that's uh that's all from my side folks and uh, let us meet again okay with a new problem with with a new set of ideas thank you for watching the video and if you like it hit subscribe see you again